everybody, it's Sue from the library. I'm so glad you've come to join me for a story and some songs. I know it's spring but it's been a little bit chilly. I've got my jumper on today. <laughs> now yesterday we had a lovely story all about three cheeky monkeys but it was quite a long story so there wasn't much time for any songs. <laughs> so I made sure today it's a shorter story and we'll have lots of songs and rhymes too. Should we have heads and shoulders, knees and toes to begin with? If I'm feeling a little bit chiller, that will definitely warm me up. Are we ready? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. <gasps> Should we sing a little bit faster? Are we ready? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, I think we should sing it one more time, as quick as we can. Are we ready? Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh, give yourselves a clap. <laughs> We definitely deserve a story after that. I'll have a look in the story time basket to see what today's story is going to be. Oh, this looks a good story. <laughs> it's called Brenda is a Sheep and it's been written and illustrated by Morag Hood. So thank you to Morag and also Thank you to Two Hoots Publishers for allowing us to read it at story time. I like Brenda's jumper. Maybe Brenda's feeling a little bit chilly too. <laughs> These are sheep. This is also a sheep. This sheep is called Brenda. Brenda has a very nice woolly jumper. Just like mine. Brenda does all the things that sheep do. <laughs> because Brenda is a sheep. The sheep learn lots of new games from their friend Brenda like catch, teeth sharpening and tag. Brenda loves tag. But no matter how hard she tries, she can never catch anyone. They always get away. The sheep think Brenda is probably the best sheep they have ever met. She is so very tall, has nice pointed teeth and her wool is all knitted and colourful. All the sheep want to be just like Brenda. But Brenda has other things on her mind. I wonder what they are. She is working hard on her special mint sauce recipe. The sheep have never had Brenda's special mint sauce, but she tells them it's very tasty. You just need to find the right thing to eat with it. 
Luckily, Brenda knows just the thing. She is getting ready for a feast. The sheep are very excited. Brenda tells the sheep to go to bed nice and early. She says there will be a surprise for them in the morning. A delicious surprise. Brenda has to wait a very long time for the sheep to go to sleep. But at last, they begin to nod off. And one by one, Brenda counts them on her claws. One yummy sheep. Two yummy sheep. Three yummy sheep. Brenda wakes up, the sheep have made a surprise of their own. <laughs> there is grass stew and grass pie and grass burgers and grass lasagna and grass sandwiches and grass sausages and for pudding grass biscuits with a delicious sauce to pour over it all. <laughs> this is not the feast Brenda had planned. But when she sees everything her friends have done for her, Brenda can't help but join in the fun because after all, <laughs> Brenda is a sheep. <laughs> oh, that was a good story, wasn't it? Another surprise ending. <laughs> I enjoyed that story, did you? <laughs> I'll put it behind me and then we can have some songs. Who can twinkle their stars? Should we sing twinkle, twinkle, little star? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was lovely. Well done, everybody. I'll have a look in the story time basket to see if anybody's there. I wasn't expecting to find Monkey in the story time basket. <laughs> I think I know why. Yesterday I didn't have time to sing a really good song about three cheeky monkeys. <laughs> I think we'll sing it now. We haven't had this rhyme at story time yet, but I bet it's one that some of you may know. So if you do, join in. It's about three cheeky monkeys who do a lot of jumping on the bed. <laughs> Are we ready? Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and banged his head. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and banged her head. <gasps> Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. 
One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and banged his head. <gasps> Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, Put those monkeys back to bed. <laughs> oh, it's such a good rhyme, that one. We'll have to sing it more often. I've got a new teapot. Do you like it? Maybe we could sing the teapot song next. Can you remember the words and the actions? If you can, stand up nice and straight. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle and here's my spout. When I see the teacups, hear me shout. Tip me up and pull me out. A moment though. Oh, I think somebody's hiding in my teapot. Oh, it's little mouse. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Little mouse, what are you doing hiding in my new teapot? It's not a house for a mouse. <laughs> I think we should sing Hickory Dickory Dock just for little mouse. <laughs> I'll put my teapot away. Can you make a clock with your hand and a little mouse with your other hand? Are we ready? Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Now, we had a song about monkeys, so I think we'd better ask Dolly to join us for her song. Can you rock your dollies? And we'll sing Miss Polly Had a Dolly. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. So she called for the doctor to be quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his bag and his hat and he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. Then he said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He wrote on a paper for a bill, bill, bill. I'll be back in the morning, yes I will, will, will. I think it's time for our last song, but I'm so glad we managed to fit quite a lot of songs in today. <laughs> if you've got a shaker, go and get it. If you haven't, just do lots of actions with me. Are we ready? If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know we clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet If you're Happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! Give yourselves a big clap. Well done. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you next Monday.